Hello Leo, I am Leah with Enlightened Mystics Essentials and I am here to um, go over your fears that you will need to face for 2019. Um, right now I am opening up um, to take appointments for anyone who would like to communicate with the spirit or anyone who would like to um, communicate with their ancestors um, someone who has crossed over from the um, physical realm this realm into the spiritual realm um, I was given this message by spirit to uh, bring it to all air signs at this time um, if you would like to um, speak about anything or talk about anything involving this you can email me at Enlightened Mystic Essentials and I will reply back to you. So now we're going to um, get started and I am using the Dark Mirror Oracle to get the fears that you will need to release for um, 2019 and then I will get a spiritual wisdom message from spirits and the divines with the um, hidden wisdom oracle deck. Then we will find out what you will need to release and once you re uh, release what will you gain. Okay? So, spirit for Leos. What is the fear? Okay, not quick. That they will need to release <laughs> addicted. That's your first one. Um, that card talks about something that you are addicted to. Any type of addiction. And it can be, you know, addiction to anything and everything. You know, shopping, video games, uh, spending money, working, relationships, a person, a situation. Anything. But we'll, we'll, we'll find out some more information. Spirit for Leos. What is the fear? I can't, yeah, there it is. Uh, that they are, will need to face is triumph of lies. Triumph of lies. And we'll get one more. Spirit for Leos. What is a fear that they will need to release? 2019 calling the storm calling the storm are you running away from the storm or are you going to face the storm mm -hmm. now we are going to clarify these fears with spiritual wisdom spirit for leos clarify addicted now look you see that you are the ninth sign that i i've done and you make the eighth sign with hidden cards or cards that are want to hide because I have literally had cards that flip over in the deck and turn back over. Like, uh, Leah didn't see me. No, Leah seen you. Uh, the rest in tree. Patience. Patience. That clarifies addicted. What is the hidden wisdom here for triumphant lies from Leo's spirit? Thank you. And it touches patience. <laughs> The cosmos, the universe, the uh, divines. This card upright represents creativity and vastness. Wide open. And for Leo, Spirit clarify calling the storm. Why is calling the storm here? There we are. For Leo's. High Lord of gratitude and service. This card talks about you being selflessness and humility. 
upright. Okay. All right, here we go. So, um, addicted. Um, I am a person that reads numbers and colors, Leos. So here, this card of, you know, addicted. You being addicted to something or someone being addicted to you. Anything. You can be addicted to anything. So, uh, 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. This talks about a choice. Mm -hmm. You choosing. Twos is um, choices. This is what twos represent. Choices. It represents um, conversation. It represents debating. And it represents uh, pairs. Mm -hmm. Pairs. Now here. This is a two. Right? And the rest entry for patience is two twos. Twenty two. Two, two, two. Twos. Mm -hmm. But all together this um situation of addicted with the rest and tree, two plus four is six. This talks about bringing in a balance. Mm -hmm. There is a need for balance. Mm -hmm. And once you find out what this balance is, you uh don't have to um, rush into this balance because this is telling you to be patient. Whether this is a fear that you uh, know about because maybe it sits on the surface or just beneath the surface. Um, you don't have to go down deep. You know, this is a fear that's not down deep where you have to pull it to the surface to, re you know, release it. It's there. But if the point of the matter is, are you acknowledging it or are you acting like it, it, it doesn't exist? If this was a fear that did not exist among most Leos, it would have never came up. Mm -hmm. So now let's figure out what needs to be released about this addiction. Or whatever you are addicted to. Or if someone is addicted to you. And then we'll figure out what the patience is about. Spirit for Leos. What do they need to surrender, release, or accept about addicted? Fear. Surrender. Fear. Fear. And this is all in due time. And that's why the rest and tree is here. And 2 plus 2 is 4. This is the foundation. This, this card alone represents the foundation. The stability. The structure. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. So fear. It says let go of the fearful stories. You are telling yourself. That's this. You fear it is. Mm -hmm. Stay in the moment. Staying in the moment is stillness. That's another aspect of this card. See? Patience and stillness. Mm -hmm. The foundation. What is what is made solid is you having patience, you being still. Mm -hmm. Focus on situations and celebrate every baby step. Listen, you you see this card? Let me get it a look closer. This is a man here, mm -hmm. and this man is literally melting away. Look at his hand. It shows the skeleton of his hand and the skin dripping off his fingers. That's skin. Mm -hmm. He is chained. But what is he a what is he chained to? He's chained to metal thorns or metal swords coming out his back. This is something that is rooted within you. 
-hmm. It's anchored within you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, 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 the rooting of these metal thorns, mm -hmm, it runs deep. But at the same time, it lingers and it grows or it extends out beyond you. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, it talks about fear. Fear. Is it something that is causing you fear? Or is it something that you are fearful of? But here, Spirit tells you to be patient. Because through Spirit mm -hmm, in the universe... And the help of angels, you know, like the angel of balance, the angel of love, the angel of strength. Those are literally uh, angels, you know, and these angels, mm -hmm, you have to call on them. You have to say, you know, angel of strength. Because uh, you come down here and uh, bless me with uh, what you possess. Which is strength. You know what I mean? And see some people. They don't know about these angels. Mm -hmm. But Leah is here telling you about these angels. Yeah. Because see these angels. Um, they are divine beings. True indeed. But they hold on. Until someone asks them for. What they possess. Yeah. You know. Um, I. This is for an example. I have, I, you know, I, I, I'm a person who I don't like people. I don't like being around people. I don't like uh, nothing involving people. Well, you need to call the angel of love and say, angel of love, come bless me with what you possess. I need love. Because mm -hmm. this is not just the general love. Just like those are not regular thorns. That are uh, extending at your back. That you're anchored to. Here's the chain here. Look. See that chain. That chain is going into. The, it, it, it's there. It's there hooked in. Yeah baby you see it. Right there. You don't see that line. To you it probably look like a line. But it's really a chain. There it is. There you go. Can you see it? It's a chain. Now you can see the skin melting off of his face and his hands right there. He's literally melting away. You are literally losing yourself. Leo. Oh. You see how spirit pushed that on now? Because you are fearful. Mm -mm. We're going to have to go a little. No. We'll go a little deeper. Spirit. If Leo's surrendered the addiction mm -hmm, and surrender the fear and have patience, clarify fear. What else would they release or surrender or accept about this situation? Surrender your belief in safety. What are you believing in? Because mm -hmm. right now, you believing in this addiction. Where is it getting you? Nowhere. Because you are anchored in, baby. And if you are anchored and those uh, metal thorns are sticking all the way through you, where the hell is you going at? You know how much energy and pain is going to cause for you to come out of this? Because you will literally have to pull back. So therefore you will be revisiting. Every inch. Of every thorn. Metal thorn. That is anchored into your chest. That exceeds through your back. You would have to slide and pull back. Just to move. A half an inch. Piece of inch. That you. Oof. And then look at some of them are so long that they protrude in the air. So even if you was to go back, 
This would cut your throat. This would stick into your head. So therefore, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. And now they're saying that the universe is asking you to. It says that the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life. That's the block. That's the distraction. Whatever you are addicted to that runs deep within you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And succeed beyond your wildest dreams. But understand that this is something that cannot be forced. This takes patience. That's why it is two, two plus two is four. The foundation, your foundation to you choosing, because remember that's two, this addiction or being addicted. The foundation here is patience. Man, I just told you what you needed to do and who you needed to call on. If you didn't, if you, you, you don't even necessarily have to always call on the angels, even though the angels are there to assist us you can call on spirit and spirit is the spirit that possesses all these qualities of all these angels into one who is spirit leah a uh, divine spirit honey yeah <laughs> now spirit if leos surrender their addiction mm-hmm and surrender all these uh, fears and beliefs and uh, accept that their foundation is uh, patience what will they gain what will they gain hmm. a sacred vision mm -hmm. yeah choose to forgive in order to heal what are you forgiving and what are you healing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says, see the light in all things. You may not see it now, but it's there. That is the foundation. Mm -hmm. Remember, love has no boundaries. What are the boundaries? The boundaries are the restrictions. Mm -hmm. No fear. That's a restriction. And uh, your belief is sacred. That 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 that's that's yeah. That's a fear. That's a that's a reject. You know, a restriction too. Because mm -hmm. it talks about you. It says, "Ask the universe." The universe is asking you. That's the divine there. To open to the infinite nature of abundance. You right now are refusing abundance. Because you stuck in this. Literally you're stuck. The chains. The thorns that dry. Metal thorns. This ain't no um little stick thorns that you somebody can come and cut out your bag. You know how much sawing and filing they would have to do. And then uh, think about it. With metal, <laughs> how close could they really get to you with the sewing and the filing away? You still would have to slide off. <sighs> this is heavy. This is very heavy. This feels to me now like uh, hopelessness. Mm -hmm. But it's not hopeless. Because once you overcome it, the sacred vision is you seeing the light in all things, in any situation, in any predicament. You will see the light. Two for one. You don't see those two mirroring twins. But the thing about energy is this. If you apply positive energy, your result is positive energy. If you up, uh, it's the positive energy. If you apply negative energy, your uh, results will be very negative. 
This the negativity. This the negative result. The fear. Leah, I just don't know what to do. I don't think I can overcome this. Because I am afraid. And here comes the universe. Just be patient. Mm -hmm. Because in due time, we, the universe, mm -hmm, we're going to allow you to see the abundance and the success and the growth. In the enlightenment of this, Leo's. And when you do, your skin will stop falling off. Mm -hmm. You'll stop turning into a skeleton. What is the skeleton? Uh, emptiness. And when the skin falls off and the skeleton appears, then you jump over here to your second feel. That's a skeleton there. But this skeleton is all dressed up. <laughs> Listen. This uh, second fear that you will face and need to release is a uh, triumph of lies. And it's a skeleton dressed in a black suit. Mm -hmm. The white suit is uh, down to the side. So that lets us know right now you say the hell with the enlightenment and light and positivity i'm rocking my damn negative i'm rocking my darkness even though i am a skeleton which represents the emptiness mm -hmm. yep and you done crowned yourself king and queen ain't that some shit a skeleton uh leo halloween is over been over Pushing two months at the end of this month. And we in December. <laughs> so listen. This um car, this car is one. One is one you. One Leo. One journey. And one decision. One choice. Mm -hmm. This um car also talks about uh, lights, camera, action. You going out amongst people putting on shows because you want some attention. Mm -hmm. Yep. Until you realize that the show that you putting on <laughs> is for the people to see. They in a uh, same situation as you or they in a worse situation than you. But you just want to have some uh, attention. Rock in your little dark ass suit. Mm -hmm. But see listen. When the lights camera action go off. And there are no more lights. And then they tell you to get off the stage. You can go and take off that little black suit that you got on. And what's going to remain. Is that skeleton. The emptiness. Mm -hmm. Within you. That's why you feel like you got to dress up. And you had a choice of the black or the white, but you went with the black. But it's fitting for this occasion that we are having because we're facing our fears. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you stand, you 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 think that crown on your head right there. You think you the uh shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think you the boss uh man or you the boss of woman, a lady. But I'm going to tell you something. Take off that whole costume. The crown and the little suit. And look at yourself in the mirror. You're going to be a, a skeleton. And what is a skeleton? Emptiness. Stop going out here and putting on shows for people, please. God, I don't even want to stand my hand. Let me stop. Come on here. Now, what clarifies this is uh, the cosmos. And this number is uh, 41. That's 5. That's change. So what are they saying? Uh, the universe or the cosmos is going to bring a change to you. Because you know why? 5 plus that 1 is 6. 
Six is balance. Mm hmm. Yep. Balance. A balance is needed. Where is the balance needed at? <laughs> you lying to yourself and other people. Yep. You. That one right there. You. One you, one show. Because see, that's what you're putting on for the people. Oh, I think I look better in my black today. Or I think I will wear my black today over the white. When in reality, your ass should have chose the white. Because you need enlightenment and guidance. Mm-hmm. And then for the women, y'all probably uh, trying to put your little makeup on a skeleton. Because you the skeleton. Leo, you trying to put your makeup on? I ain't never seen makeup on bone, but... Uh, you, I tell you what, you do it and you take a picture and show me. Because you like to put on shows. And you like to crown yourself king. And you like to crown yourself queen. But in the end of the day, when that little fake ass crown gone and that uh, black ass suit you got on is gone. Huh, nothing. Literally, nothing. No lights, no camera, no show. Mm -hmm. You got to do better than this, honey. Sorry. One thing about me, I'm going to give it to you. And I'm going to give it to you, blood raw, Leo. Because, y'all, this is uh not the little Leo lion um, energy right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lying by day, show by night. Well, I'm not buying no tickets, Leo. Because I don't want to see a skeleton prance around on no stage. And it ain't Halloween no more. Just being real with you. <laughs> Spirit. What does Leo need to surrender with this triumph of lies? The show of lies. What do they need to surrender, release, or accept here about the triumph of lies? Going all the way through. You got two. Now look at this. Can you see it? One is upright. One is not. This one here is the one that's hidden and it don't want to show. It don't want us to see, but it's gonna see. And you see this? It lies on top of this. This is the sacred vision. Okay. So what this says is, this is the one that's flipped up right before we can see. So we can see. It's a sacred vision. What is the sacred vision? You seeing the inner peace mm -hmm, within yourself. Skeletons, yeah, they may rest in peace. But when have you seen a skeleton come out of rest or peace and get up and walk around and put on a show? I have uh, never seen one, and I plan not to ever see one, <laughs> for real. Okay, it says, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes. Yeah, because the people uh who you um entertaining with this bull right here, they are the same people who are um egging on this bull right here. This show them people. Mm hmm So if you stop putting on a show and show them something different, they just said others will feel your good vibes too. And your life will flow more easily. Listen, when you a skeleton putting on the show, well, first of all, when you a skeleton, you already done lived your damn life. You just dead right now. <laughs> and that and, and the skeleton represents the emptiness. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. No. That's I don't want to see your show. I'm sorry. And the universe is coming in and telling you that a change is needing to happen. With you and these shows you putting on for them people. Now what's hitting that you don't see? Look. Surrender to setting limits. Setting boundaries. Setting restrictions. Like um, 
what would be a restriction for you is to stop putting on these shows like this. Or what would be a restriction is you saying no to that black outfit because the white one looked better on you. Yeah. <laughs> it says, it, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. The relationship is that uh, dark outfit right there that you're wearing with your little crown on your head. But you, you, the one with the crown on the head, the Leo. The relationship is you choose the darkness over the light. You choosing the negativity over the positivity is right here. Mm -hmm. That's why we facing our fears. Mm -hmm. You wear your uh, fears and you wear your negativity and you wear your darkness with pride. You the shit, remember? You got that crown on your head. <laughs> Why you let the white costume sit over there on the side and collect dust. Don't forget, one you, one show. It says, practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. No to this uh, black uh, costume. No to that crown upon your head. Because what you the boss of, what you the king of, what you the queen of. The show, don't forget that the show is not real. Uh, lights, camera, action. Lights could be me turning on a damn port light. Mm -hmm. Camera could me pull, be pull, me pulling out my phone. Come on now. And then when I say action, you go to act or not. Really? <laughs> Let me think about it. Do I really want to see this or not? Because, whew. Yeah, y'all, no. It got to be something up in here for you. Because uh, we need this inner peace. Because that skeleton is, even though they rest in peace, you don't, uh, peace don't dwell in you. The inner peace. The inner piece is that skeleton. That's where the inner piece need to be applied at. So you can either uh, grow you some flesh. The little flesh that you, you know. Flesh. <laughs> or you need to grow you some um, wisdom and strength. Because you should have been stronger than to come out in that black suit. And you should have had more sense than that. To even be putting on the show for these people. Whoever you putting the show on for, whoever you acting out for, you doing too much. Mr. and Miss uh one show when you Yeah. Now uh spirit. When Leo learns how to uh so release this triumph of lies and let the universe take over. And set boundaries and inner peace. What will they gain? Thank you. Straight like that. They gonna, you going to gain a miracle. You need one. Expect a miracle. Or technically see the miracle. Because it landed on top of sacred visions again. It says, remember that only love is real. This is not real. I just told you you putting on the show. You want to be seen. Lights, camera, action. Mm -hmm. This is the real love. And that's why a change is needed here. Because you don't see the universe looking down. You don't see that moon. See that moon right there? Up, moon right here. Mm -hmm. Looking down on your show. Trying to see if you can, you yeah, know, yeah, boom. See how you, huh? What? They see you, yeah. You can't hide nothing. And then if you look at this card, he's literally spitting stars out of his mouth. The moon is. Stars represent direction. Look how the stars flow out of his mouth. And this is, uh, this blue, all this blue and white that you see. Mm hmm. 
The blue represents harmony. The blue represents balance and joy. Mm -hmm. And the white is the, the purification, the clarity. And as he looked down on your shoulder, universe, he spits out direction. He spits out harmony. He spits out calming. Calmingness. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. You definitely need to relax here. I'm sorry. Even though I know skeletons are like super relaxed in their state. But Leo, y'all doing too much here. Yeah. You know? And it says, um, miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Spirit has your back. Not having your back while you putting on this show. Mm -mm. For these people who are ever looking. Because you need to realize that some people can see straight through you. Literally straight through you. That, then they see the skeleton. They see the emptiness. Mm -hmm. And why you think they laughing with you. They really laughing at you. You know. And if you want this miracle. Mm -hmm. Or you want to have vision, sacred visions, which is divine visions, uh, to get this miracle. The only way you're going to get this miracle is you stop acting out. Because this is the distraction of you, Leo, at this time. You putting on a show for people so much and we're looking at their reactions and wondering what they're thinking. And thinking they're applauding you uh, for your uh, performance. But in reality, they are, they are plotting you for being a uh, jackass. Because that's what you're making yourself look like. A straight clown. I told you I was going to be real with you. So, uh, you want that blessing? You want that miracle? That they told you that was uh, you, can, you can see? You need to... Um, Get rid of the distraction and get rid of the lights, camera, action and get rid of the show. I, I have not seen your show on TV because I don't watch TV. Yeah, that's not my thing. I listen to music all day. I don't have to worry about seeing people. Now, moving on. Excuse me to the last one. Facing the storm. Calling. Talk about facing the storm. Calling the storm. But are you calling the storm to run from the storm? Is the storm defeating you? Or are you standing up against the storm? Trying to defeat it. What is this number 30? Zero drops and it's three. Creation. This storm is creating something. What is it creating? It's creating you to be selflessness. It's creating you to not to uh, be selfish. Mm -hmm. Is this storm a lesson that you're learning? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, is it you standing up uh, 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 um, towards the fears? Because this is the card of two. You choosing to be selfless. Mm -hmm. For humility. Mm. Now that's the Leos I know. Not this. So what's this? Uh, 30 and a 2. 32. 32. 3 plus 2 is 5. Change. Mm -hmm. Change. Spirit for uh, Leo's calling the storm. What needs to be surrendered here? Or released? Or accepted? It falls out on top of miracles. Let me show you how it falls out. How it fell out, rubber. Just like this. So what's hidden? You surrendering to your full power. You can expect a miracle. That's what that says. About you facing the storm. Standing tall towards the storm. You sacrificing yourself for the storm. Now this is beautiful. This is the Leos that I know. Mm -hmm. Heart of a lion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power. That's you stepping into your full power right here. Facing a storm. Got your little weapons. Oh, you going for it. Head protection. You geared up. That's what I'm talking about. 
And it says, uh, you stepping into your full power rather than playing it small. You know what the playing it small is? This. Because what is this really gaining you? If it is gaining you something, it's probably gaining you little recognition. Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We'll work with that. Spirit. Um, clarify Leo's standing up against the storm and being brave. Because they have accepted the fact that it's not always about them. So therefore they are, are selfless. Or they show selflessness. And surrender to their full power. <laughs> Hello. It is a lion in this uh, image. What is uh, symbolic of Leo's? I hear you not lying. Oh. Really? And the lady who rides upon her has a, spe a spear in her hand. She's either going to fight or she's coming out of fighting. But at the end of the day, that spear is a, 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 a weapon, right? But doesn't it uh, put you in the mind of like a spear or a, a... Yeah, therefore it's logical. This is a decision that needs to be made within your mind. I just told you that these two cards represent five change. What is the change that's needed? You standing up in your... uh. You know, true self. That lion. Mm -hmm. And getting a clear understanding. That's why the spear is there. That's the logic. Yeah. What will they gain? Excuse me. What will they gain? It's been a long day, you all. I've been doing signs. Okay, so now you have another card. That falls out on top of sacred vision again. So the sacred vision. Uh, is the awakening presence. This is what you will gain. The, sac the sacred vision. Of awakening presence. What it says. The universe is with you. Mm -hmm. The universe is with you. You are right. Sure is right here in this image. <laughs> Helping you stand in your full power. Wear a cloak of protection. Cloak of protection is granted. He wears a cloak. And he also offers you a lotus flower. A life flower. <laughs> the lotus flower. One of the sacred uh, flowers of our time. And he offers this to you. Yeah. Protection is granite. It says. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Hello. You're fighting a storm here. And you have all the tools you need. You are dressed in your gear. You have your weapon. You have those big ass antlers um, on your helmet. Mm -hmm. that, that represents wisdom. Because as time go on, right? And the deers and all those. Uh, yeah, the deers, as they get older, remember? And they, re and they reach maturity, huh, their antlers grow. This is a sign of maturity. This is a sign of wisdom. And then think about the deer. They all, uh, the male deer, they walk around with their chest out as they prance around with these big ass antlers on their head. Yeah, you're growing. Logically. Mm -hmm. That's why you call your call a storm in. So you could stand up against the storm. Mm, excuse me. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Leo. So, you, it says, addicted. Mm -hmm. Right here. Let me get them. Addicted. And in this addiction, this card looks at triumph of lies. It looks at triumph of lies. So, 
Leo is addicted to triumph of lies, but it's uh, calling in the storm so Leo can weather the storm. So Leo can uh, stand up against the storm. And this, if you look back over here at triumph of lies, it shows the weapon towards triumph of lies here. Like the protection, the blockage. Yeah. Let's go, Leos. So, um, I'm Leah. And technically, this has not been a bad reading. I have seen worse. I'll put it to you like that. Mm -hmm. Even within your own element. The fire sign. I think I, of all the um, fire signs, you have had the best mm -hmm. reading. As long as you get over this addiction in the, this show, you can stand up against the test of time here. Yeah. And that's why this is a three, the creation. Mm -hmm. The creation. Yeah, the creation. The creation. Yeah. So, uh, Leos, I'm Leo with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. Comment down below. Mm -hmm. Like, share, subscribe. Um, and listen, now that you have faced your fears, Look out for my energy read because the energy read is going to, oh man, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to give you um, information to the energies uh, that is coming towards you. And I would like to see some of these fears in the energy because everything has energy. You release these fears. And really, technically speaking, you only have two fears. You have the uh, addicted. Mm -hmm. Letting go of addiction. And then you got the show card. Stop putting on the show. Because uh, this is uh, telling us that you are brave. And let's not forget that this card is also clarified with bravery. Mm -hmm. And this card is also clarified by gratitude and service. Being thankful for your service. And this card is also talking about awakening presence. Talking about um, a cloak of protection and love. How is that a fear? It's not. How is this a regret? It's not. So the only thing Leo has to work on is two things. I think you all have won the reading so far. Everybody else has been having five, fours. Oh my God. Too much. But anyway. I'm Leo with Enlightened. That's guided and formed and knowledgeable mystics is spiritual or outside this physical realm of the worldly essentials life purpose life path life journey life path journey take it easy and release the fears for 2019